Dollar General has been placed in a program for the worst worker safety violators in the nation. None of the inventory is ever on the shelves. You get these carts in the way with all these boxes. It's junky. It's just everywhere. Like, where's management? Why is corporate not involved in what the is going on at Dollar General? That's dangerous for workers, but it also raises serious concerns about the viability of their business model. I'm Mary Beth Gallagher, Director of Engagement at Domini Impact Investments. As of March 31st, 2023, Domini owns $1.5 million worth of Dollar General shares. I'm here to tell you why we led a successful shareholder vote to require the company to independently audit working conditions and make a plan to improve them. At Domini Impact Investments, we invest in companies because we value their business models. And we value Dollar General in that it brings affordable products to rural and urban communities around the United States, often in places that few other companies go. But when a business model compromises worker health and safety, that's a big red flag for business. So we decided to use our shareholder influence to try to make things right. In October, Dollar General was added to OSHA's Severe Violator Enforcement Program due to excessive workplace health and safety violations. Fine after fine has been issued by OSHA, piling up to $21 million since 2017. Boxes have been stacked six feet high, often blocking electrical outlets, aisles, and exits, making it unsafe for an employee to leave in case of an emergency, and heightening the risk of fires. As Domini was in contact with workers and we heard more about their experience, the issue of safe staffing kept rising to the top of the list. We met with Dollar General executives and didn't sense the urgency or seriousness that we expected given how significant the issue of workplace safety is. On top of the financial risk, as investors we know that attracting and keeping employees is critical for the business to succeed, and a bad reputation for workplace safety might jeopardize that. This poor reputation may also cost the company customers at a time when a weakening economy has led to reduced consumer spending. We also saw towns and cities across the country organizing and passing ordinances to ban dollar stores from coming to their town, citing workplace safety concerns in addition to findings that they contribute to food deserts. Recognizing that we likely needed to use more pressure to create change and that Dollar General shareholders beyond Domini would also be concerned about the company's record. As a shareholder, we were able to file a proposal that all shareholders could vote on at its annual shareholder meeting which brought this issue to the ballot. And we won. 67.7% of shareholders voted for the proposal. They supported our call for Dollar General to hire an independent auditor to come and examine what's creating an unsafe workplace, to meet with workers those best positioned to know what needed to be fixed, and to make a plan to improve it. In the investor community, a vote like this is fairly unique. Shareholder proposals that are opposed by the company's board, as this one was, don't often win majority support. So this will be a hard statement for the board and company to ignore. Workers now have the support of the majority of Dollar General's investors pushing for improvements so Dollar General workers feel safe to go to work. We'll continue to engage, provide feedback, and encourage transparency with the expectation that with this strong support from shareholders, they will move forward with the audit quickly. Dollar General is the fastest growing retailer in the US with more stores than Walmart and Target combined. But if they don't address the dangerous working conditions affecting stores across the country, that growth could be in jeopardy. For workers, customers, and shareholders, it's time for Dollar General to take the necessary action to make things right.